How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and this is a special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial for Blue Ultima. He says, hey Driftwood, I was wondering is there a way to change the character's attack and guard commands based off how much percent of health they have remaining? It's something I've been trying to make for a while but I'm having trouble. An example would be when an actor has HP, when an actor's HP is 25% or lower, the guard command turns into metaguard, a guard command that heals the user. Um, this is something I've mentioned a few times uh, in my uh, lit first impressions when people don't have any skills to restore HP so I've made uh, this recommendation to to some people uh, but I never actually showed people how to do it but it's pretty simple all you need is uh, Yanfly's uh, weapon unleash plugin in its plug and play you put it in you put the note tags where they need to be so what we're going to be using is a custom replace guard in a simple uh, condition so this condition can be put inside a state, an actor, or a class, uh, but basically you have to make the skill first. So let's make MetaGuard, call it whatever you want, give it any icon, you can make it do whatever you want. This is just the mechanics of how it works. In this case, what we're going to be doing is have it restore 25% of the user's maximum HP uh, when their HP is below 25%. So uh, they get 25 when they're below 25%. <clears throat> you don't have to give it a skill type at all. It needs no skill type at all. You want to give it 10 TP gain because guard usually gives 10 TP. So you probably want to give it 10 TP gain. You definitely don't want this skill to cost anything. Otherwise you'll be rendering uh, one of your things useless if the player doesn't have the TP on that. So make it a certain hit. Uh, give it whatever animation you want. You can have this uh, skill add other states. You can have it add buffs. Do whatever you want. I have give it zero variance, no critical, and add defense and magic defense buffs for three turns. And that's pretty much it. So what you need to do is go to your actors, your classes, your states, wherever you want to put it, right? I'm, for this uh, demonstration, I'm going to put it right on the character. So for the actor, you're going to put, um, I'll have it up on the screen right here, custom replace guard. You're going to create a temporary variable and you're going to say if the user's HP, uh, that variable's value is equal to the user's HP divided by its max HP. We're going to do a conditional statement saying if that variable is less than 0.25, then we're going to change uh, the ID to the number of the skill. So you see ID equals 792. Why did I pick 792? Is it just some arbitrary number? No, this is the skill ID that we're going to be references. So you can see that I put Metaguard as 792 for you. It'll probably be something different. So you'll put this number to be different on your game, whatever you want Metaguard or whatever skill you're creating to be replaced. Uh, so you put that number, you do an else command, and you say id equals zero. That's going to put it back to its regular state of just, it's going to say guard unless their HP is below 25%. You close it off with that, and that's pretty much it. You can copy it. I should have it up in big letters. Let's take a look at that in game real quick to see how it looks. Pretty cool um, feature. I actually have this same kind of effect inside Legends of Driftwood. Um, it's uh, for the night class. I forgot what I called it. It's been a long time, but um, it's the same thing. It's basically it adds a little defense buff, except I think I made a state for it, and uh, it restores your HP. I think I used 35% instead of 25%. But anyway, so we're just gonna guard, and we're actually just you know skipping our turning, letting them do some damage. We'll guard. You can see um, they're gonna do damage. We still have a regular guard. We it hasn't replaced it yet. Right now we're probably right above 25%. We're really close, so let's just take a little more damage. Okay, look, we're about to die, so you can see that guard has been replaced with metaguard. So we'll use metaguard. We gained a buff, and we gained some HP. Didn't quite help us, so you might want to actually increase the power of that. Uh, besides below 25%, add 25%. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's uh, let's buff it up a little bit. To change it up, really simple, all you have to do is change how much HP recover it's giving. Um, so you're going to make sure that the damage damage type is HP recover. You could also just have it recover HP right here. It's completely up to you. So let's say it's going to do 35% and we'll say restores 35% when, the, when our HP is below 35%. So now it's quite a bit stronger. So we need to go back to that and change it this number is how you would change it so we'll say when that value is below 35 it'll be replaced so we'll go ahead and try that one more time yeah so this is just basically it I'm gonna run through it and uh, show you the skill one more time 
But yeah, thank you so much, uh, Blue Ultima, for your special request. I know I've mentioned this before, and uh, now you guys can see how to do it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get Yanfly's uh, Weapon Unleashed plugin. Really, really awesome plugin. It has way more uses than just this. Um, there's a way that you can make it so that whenever you use Guard, it has a chance to do something different. And uh, hey, I might I, I might give you a little bonus content on that. Let's let me show you how you can do um, a little bit extra with this skill. So you can see that when we're above 35%. Uh, it does. It shows regular guard. When we go below, we get meta guard. So there it is. Really, really cool thing. Now, uh, what I thought was so cool about this plugin is it has, uh, you know, the main thing it was for is unleash, right? So um, it, there's a, basically how it works is like there's a percent chance that you, when you use a skill, it will, it'll do another skill. So we we do that with uh, unleash. So we're going to use guard unleash. So let's copy this and uh, put this in the note tag here. So what we're going to do is paste that right there and we're going to say guard unleash. This is what percent chance. We can, for the sake of this video to do it quick, we'll say a 25% chance. So it'll most likely happen one out of four times. And then that's what you put for the percent chance here. And then the, the Y value is going to be for uh, what skill you want it to use. So let's pick a, a skill. Let's pick like, a, hmm, what would it? What would, really would it matter? Let's pick something that would actually restore HP as well. So let's pick chakra. Let's say 819. So let's go to here and change this Y to 819. So now there's a 25% chance when you guard, it's going to use chakra instead. And when your HP is below 35%, it's going to use meta guard. So let's have a look to see how that works together. Kind of interest. Uh, I'm kind of interested to see how these two work together. I've never thrown both of them on one uh, at the same time without a condition of its own. So yeah, let's have a look at how it works if we use an unleash and a, a replace. So let's just guard, and 25% chance that it'll it'll just do guard. Uh, so boom, guard. It just did the same thing again. We'll hit guard again. Same thing. So statistically it should switch it up this time it didn't still 25 percent chance seems to be doing not uh, much of anything so we have mediguard that's still sticking around but chakra doesn't seem to be coming into play at all now i'm curious if i'm just getting bad odds or oh was that chakra that was chakra yeah so that was just bad odds if I were to change that to a higher percent, then it would happen more often. So we're getting Mediguard there. Getting Mediguard. Let's switch it up to Unleash 50% and see if that makes a difference. Because it seems like the 25% isn't procking that often. Let's actually do 75% uh, Guard Unleash. Because I'm curious to know if uh, the Unleash will only happen when the other conditions are being met or not. We'll find out. Okay, let's guard. Okay, look, we were above 35%, so chakra just happens uh, whether we're met the condition of the unleash, uh, of the replace or not. So uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do chakra 75% of the time, even though it doesn't seem like it's doing it 75% of the time. It seems like we did guard quite a few times. Maybe, the, oh, I think there's a, there's a cooldown on chakra. Maybe there's a cooldown on chakra. But anyway, play with it. Figure it out uh, to get it to work just like you want. Like I said, you could put it on a state um, you could, so that it'll only un, uh, switch your attack and your guard um, when you have that state on. Um, you could put it on the class so if each class can have their own different kind of guard replace. There's a lot of different things. And if you wanted to do this with weapon, all, all you'd have to do is switch out the guard with uh, weapon or attack. Let me, let me, before I let you go, let me figure out exactly what you would put in there. I think you would just type weapon, replace, weapon unleash. Yeah, so replace attack. So you use replace attack if you want to switch up your attacking skill. And you would switch up, you know, you would just put in guard. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. I'm at Driftwood Gaming. Uh, like this video if you liked it. And we'll see you guys in the next one.